What is up guys? It's your local Realized man chilling out on the Realized couch here today and I got a special video for you guys today. I want to talk about why it's important to really be cognizant of the material you're allowing to seep into your mind. Why it's important to be really cognizant of the material you're allowing to um, get into your body. Why you should make better choices and how these choices actually have an incredible role to play in who you're going to become in the future. But before I get into all that, let me tell you a little story. So the other day I ordered a pizza, right? A pizza! Everyone orders pizzas from time to time. I got delivered. So I went to the door and I opened the door and there was this girl that was there, right? And she looked familiar, but she was really, she was really overweight, but she, she looked like someone I knew. And she said to me, oh, hey, Isaac. So I was like, oh, shit, okay, this, this girl actually knows me, damn. Um, who is this, who is this, so I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I remembered, it was this girl I went to high school with four years ago. And as soon as I realized it was her, I was shocked. I was so shocked, man, because her body transformed tremendously. She gained like 45 pounds or 20 kilos whatever units you use. She gained a lot, man. She gained so much weight that you could barely recognize it was her. And the thing is, in high school, she used to have a nice figure. She was like petite, you know, one of those athletic type girls. And now she literally looked like, you know, someone who watches TV all day while eating Cheetos and Pop-Tarts. So I couldn't believe it. And uh, it got me thinking for a bit. I was like, wow, how could someone let themselves go like that, right? How could someone let themselves get that fat? And I realized that no one intentionally wants to get fat, right? No one intentionally wants to get addicted to drugs or alcohol or any of these negative things. But they happen gradually, so gradually that we often don't notice them, right? They happen so gradually that it's only after the results are too obvious to ignore that we notice them, after it's too late. The leveraging power of time, small decisions made daily, creating huge results. There's a good book on that called The Slight Edge and also The Compound Effect by Dan Hardy, I think. So here I was looking at this girl, the, the monument of this idea, right? The and I realized in terms of the body, it's very it's very um easy to notice. Like if you go to the shops right now and you look at someone who's overweight, someone who's obese, and you look at what they have in their trolley. You will see a lot of junk food there. You probably see like some Cheetos. You see like all that stuff we're talking about. Those microwavable pizzas. You see a lot of junk food in there. And then I want you to pay attention to someone who's fit, right? Someone who's got like nice biceps or who's relatively lean. That obviously goes to the gym. Look into their trolley. You see healthy foods. You probably see chicken breast in there, cabbage, you know, vegetables, fruits, and all that. Nine times out of ten. Just do, just a little experiment for you. Take a look. So, small decisions we make every day can create huge results. And this girl, I remember now, when we were in high school, during the last year of high school, about four years ago, five years ago, she got this job at the pizza place. That's when she started this pizza job. And obviously what happened between then and now is, as she's been working, she's been like, taking a little slice here and there, another slice over here, taking this box back home, you know, a customer didn't um, take his pizza, we'll take that. Take it back home. She's been eating, eating. Probably not a lot, but just small little um, extra calories, more calories than what she usually is used to. And that's what caused it to gain all the weight. But everybody does the same thing. Maybe not with pizza. I'm not talking about with food, but I'm talking about with the material we consume. Did you know that the material you consume, the videos you watch on YouTube, right? The books that you read, the, the music you listen to, the movies you watch, the people you hang out with most of the time, it's things you do on a regular basis. These things are creating you. They're creating your future self. They're creating your mentality, the thoughts you're gonna have five years down the line. You can't see it now because the brain is myopic, right? It's short-sighted when it comes to time. Time is a weird concept. We understand it in terms of like time and like clock time, but when we're actually talking about time, like Time, like five years, real time, is a weird concept for the brain to understand. That's why we make bad decisions a lot of the times because we don't see how these bad decisions can leverage over time. So 
you need to be very wary with what you're allowing to seep into your mind, your consciousness. Because it's shaping you. I'm very thankful. I'm very thankful for the decisions I made four years ago, right? When I started reading, when I started meditating, when I started in the gym a couple years back. All these decisions that I've done consistently have leveraged to form the person I am now. And I'm so grateful for it because my mentality, everything's changed, right? My outlook, everything's changed. You change yourself, you change your perception, you change your world, right? So you really need to invest in the small decisions you're making today. So what I want you guys to do now is be more aware of what choices you're making, right? Just pay attention. Whenever you do something regularly, right? Like let's say it's a TV show you watch, like you, you spend hours um, during the week watching a particular type of TV show or anything you invest a large amount of time into, I want you to think about a few questions. Think about how that activity is going to affect you down the road. Is it serving you? Is it making you better? Or is it a disservice, right? Is it making you worse? Is your future self gonna thank you for doing what you're doing? And if you're not sure if it's a good thing or a bad thing, do a little research. See what other people who have partaken in activity have achieved or, or what, how they've ended up, right? So if, for example, easy one smoking. If, if you just start smoking really, I know I use this example a lot, but it's really easy. You start smoking really, right? It's a new habit that you picked up smoking. And you're not sure how it's gonna affect. Just look at anyone else who smokes around you, right? Who's smoked for 20 years. How's their health? Are they able to like run a mile? Are they able to run a few kilometers? Are they able to go up a flight of stairs without their heart fucking exploding in their chest? Look at the evidence to reinforce your decision if you're unsure. And then judge it from that. If you really want to make leaps in your life five years down the line, you wanna take this very seriously and become more cookies on everything that you do. Anyway guys, that's the video for today. Um, it's a simple concept, but it's very important. It's so profound that if you take it seriously, things will change for you. And I think that's all I have to say for today. Until next time, guys, I've been doing these videos daily. Um, once again, I'm not really doing a video today. I'm just doing whatever the fuck I want this channel. And yeah, wishing you the best. Peace. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Um, would you mind clicking the post notifications if you do subscribe? Because if you don't, you won't see the videos in your news feed, which is pointless. But YouTube does, YouTube's gonna YouTube, all right? And yeah, peace.